this is another episode where I gonna poison you with good stuff. Welcome back guys. As I said earlier, I'm going to poison with you some good stuff. So you've known me that I've reviewed about speakers, DSPs, subwoofers before. So today is going to be a segment of speakers, right? So it's none other than this. So what I have over here is another European brand called Blam, right? As what you're seeing here is known as a Blam Relax. So how does it differ from the other guys that I've been reviewed before? Especially I've reviewed about Infinity Reference, Audison APK 165 and now this okay so the the history of plam is that the ceo okay ceo of this uh, company called guy monoville he was actually working with focal so he came out from focal and he created this it, uh, the brand is quite new it's about year 2005 onwards and what i'm trying to promote today is the entry level speakers which is the same range as the APK165 and also the Infinity Reference. Without further ado, let's dig into the specs of this speaker. Alright guys, so basically this is the speaker, right? So front top is quite straightforward, okay, it just looks like another dirty thing. Come, let us have a look at the specs. Oh, okay. Okay, as you can see here, right, okay, we try to look at the English version, yeah? So basically it has a nominal of 75 watts, it's uh, a bit lower than the other series that I've reviewed before, the Audisons and also Infinity. Okay, then the frequency response is about 60 Hz onwards, alright, that's that's quite norm. Uh, this is where it excels the most. How sensitive are these guys? It's about 95 dB, okay, this I can safely say is one of the highest in the range of any of the speakers like guys all right so what does this mean so basically right it takes a little bit of wattage from the head unit to actually move these speakers you know all right so even though you're using an original head unit let's say you're using a myvi or you're using uh, any high-end cars like even uh, what you call uh, nissan toyota or stuff like or even mercedes for instance you can slap it out okay your original speakers and you just put in you don't need an app to actually drive these guys okay so the technical features is more or less the same as the other brands okay so let us dig into inside okay so you got yourself the manual and the tweeters are quite small actually love yeah it's quite small this is with the casing actually okay so i'm not going to open it up right let's look at the mid base Oh, this is nice. So they have their own brand and their tagline is driven by passion. Okay, the size is almost similar to the Audisons. Okay, so the version that you are looking at uh, is the 2 ohm version. Okay, why the 2 ohm? Because it sounds a bit more dynamic comparing to the 4 ohm. And okay, there's some screws over here. And the crossover. Okay, the crossover. It's only meant for the Twitter, yeah. It's don't have for the mid base, right? Don't don't be alarmed when you purchase it. And oh, where's the crossover for the mid base? It it actually has the natural fall response. So it naturally just like when you are playing any low frequency song, if anything lower than sixty hertz, it will not play. Not an issue at all, guys. Okay, here's the crossovers, and voila, very straight up type of speakers so who will actually enjoy this type of uh, speakers like if you are type where you like to listen to rock rock pop or anything jazz classical or so you guys will really enjoy this particular model okay this particular model has been in the industry for several years already and it has got a very good feedback okay it has a very good feedback so million dollar question is that uh, can you use this without any amp or so yes with that very high sensitive 
of these speakers, you don't really need an amp. Okay, the normal stock head unit itself can jalan. Okay, not an issue. But but if you have yourself an amp or even a DSP with the amp, okay, DSP with an amp, that will be lovely. But try to get a better DSP. Don't get those like this uh, a bit cheaper type of DSP. Get those which has a bit more higher power type of DSP, approximately about 55 RMS onwards. That will actually give these guys a better sounding towards the tweeters and also the mid bass because when you're using a dsp right you won't be using this particular thing so try to invest in a good dsp where you can get a lot of controls a lot of uh, crossover points and stuff like that so that plays a major role okay so what i personally think about this particular speakers okay uh, number one the price point for this speakers is quite affordable knowing that technology has been used is quite similar towards our focal right that's number one number two the tweeter of it the tweeter sounds very natural that's my honest opinion it's very natural you don't feel the piercing in through your ears so that's number two number three you don't need an amplifier to drive these guys actually that's that's what i kind of like it you know because a lot of you owners out there maybe they, you are not the type where you like to enjoy with amplifiers or dsp or so so you just want a better sounding from the stock original speakers so hence you can look into this and it will amaze you okay for the price you're gonna pay it will amaze you all right so that is the product of today so i hope i will be doing more reviews on short short reviews yeah i want to do a short reviews i don't want to take too much of your time if you want to know more about it you can drop by to our working place speed scout audio and you can even see it for yourself feel it yourself and so on all right so take care guys hope if you want to add any comments or so or you want to see any other products do let us know in the comment share this video with fellow guys who think that they need an upgrade for the speakers okay some people they feel like oh this brand is good already but i will say this blam is absolutely fabulous for the price you play it's absolutely fabulous i'm kilen i hope to see you guys again soon